Oi, welcome to the 30th Bienal de São Paulo audio guide. Frédéric Bruli Boisbray is one of the greatest African artists in history, one of the most significant conceptual drawers of the late 20th century. In his works, Bruli Boisbray, in addition to having invented a new language, the new African alphabet, Bete, which is on display here for the first time in the Americas, has, every day, at every hour, through his graphic typologies in which words and drawings collide, recorded a total cosmology of existence, accidents or places, of the most minimal of actions and the most monumental of events. Opposite Bruli Boisbray, we show, also for the first time in the Americas and for the first time anywhere in the world so exhaustively, the work produced under the direction of philosopher, professor and poet Fernand de Ligny, whose work with autistic children brought fundamental contributions to discussions on language and image in the late 20th century. These are line maps that trace the spatial wanderings of autistic children photos and films on quasi-nomadic communities in which Deligny lived alongside children rejected by their families and by the medical and psychiatric establishment of the time. The typologies continue in this constellation through Gego's last work, in which the artist goes back to the early roots of modern abstraction, such as the figure of Mondrian could be, by way of fabrics and assemblages made with poor, rejected material, creating her pictures and tejeduras, per mesh-like airborne labyrinth called reticularias. Through the works of Robert Filiou, in the recurring use of found materials, boxes, bricks, in the invention of new languages of drawing that speak both of the possibility of concept art and of common existence. Finally, the great photographic typologies that conclude the biennial in the work of Horst Ademite in his obsession with capturing threatening waves in the reduced space of his neighborhood. Anna Opperman in her obsession with producing an impossible social self-portrait with infinite accumulations of images and words. Mark Morrisrow, the great inspirer of the Boston Photographic School and a fundamental reference of one of today's most influential photographic poetics from Nan Golding to Wolfgang Tillmans, whose work provides a late 20th century equivalent of the representation of a modi static from the late 19th century, and the great Brazilian photographer Alair Gomez, whose work still awaits studious consideration on a level with his quality, boldness and importance, with his iconic typologies consecrated to the beauty of the male body in the material splendor of youth. And finally, the immense Monumental Democratic Encyclopedia of August Sander, the typological portrait of the common modern man, all social classes, all occupations, all types, contrasted with the equally monumental portrait of our urban and post-industrial society made by Hans Eichelboom. The 30th Biennial, the imminence of poetics may be concluded with this collective vision of modern society in its exteriority, in its personality, in its utopia, in its possibility, in its imminence. <laughs>